Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to do your proper training before you start going live. We are going to show the smaller time frame and the higher time frame, as we have said before on the previous uh, uh, recording or on the other channel when we traded live. Uh, that um, the closer to the Christmas, the smaller time frame seconds start kicking in. Where the other auto trades, they are using a higher time frame 30 range with a risk of $5,000 to get $300. That, that's how weak it is, that auto trade, where we can use a smaller time frame it does not require 500 ticks of stop loss, but what it can do, we can survive it with 8 ticks of stop loss or 5 ticks of stop loss. It's not just the PNL, it is the risk reward. And the closer we are getting to the Christmas, no volume, the market is flat, and then if you are risking $5,000 on one trade, most likely you're going to wipe up your account. An average trader on Ninja Trader platform is between somewhere around 5,000 plus and minus. Very few above the 5,000. Almost 30% they're looking for someone or companies to give them money to trade. And uh, uh, the other 20%, somewhere around that area, they have above 5,000. So this time of year, if uh, let's say an average uh, $5,000 account on a higher time frame, which I have seen it, I couldn't believe my eyes, they are using $5,000 risk to get $300 target daily with uh, almost 500 ticks of stop loss, and they call that an auto trade. And uh, the reason is that those lousy auto trades their refuge to the high time frame. We do have a high time frame and they make much more money, but for a different algorithm. You cannot approach a higher time frame with a dummy ATR moving average above or below and you think you're going to be doing fine. That uh, algorithm is around 20 years old, is outdated, where there is a lot of a smart algorithm come out for the last 20 years the computers the algorithm the auto trade the problem is when you are auto trading it's not you just auto trading there is somebody else using a smarter auto trade more algorithm a smarter algorithm the other guy he could have better training auto trade by itself without training we support the training with us daily from a private webinars to one on one on Wednesday for the new traders new members to the other channel we analyze the market on a daily basis and guide the traders what's going on in the market for him in order to survive it's not a just purchasing an auto trade getting a couple recorded webinar and then say have a nice Christmas the auto trade has to be supported by trading, by understand training those guys how to look at the market before they start auto trading. Auto trading is not a just a dishwasher machine or a coffee machine. You push the button and the money come on the other side. This is auto trading means technical automated mechanical trading. It's like an airplane. When you put it on an autopilot, when you are putting your car on a cruise, it does not mean you go to sleep in the back seat of the car because you, because you have your car on a cruise. You don't go to sleep as a pilot because you have an autopilot on. You don't go to sleep auto trading and you have your money going to the broker and you go to sleep this is a myth which they, most of the end professional 
people come into this industry thinking it is a, just a wash machine, you turn it on and everything will be fine. You need to keep your eye on the auto trade, you need to keep your eye on the market, you need to control your auto trade, risk reward, not to just get blind by PNL and and not asking when you are using an auto trade, what is your stop loss before the PNL? What is your risk before your PNL? When you are using 30 range, what is the stop loss on 30 range? 500 ticks? Can you afford one bad trade? One bad trade, clean up your account. You will have a bad trade. You will have a bad day. You will have a bad week. And you will have a good week. You will have a bad month. And you will have a good month. In the trading, there is nothing called uh, just sh shoving money to your bank every single day. That does not exist in any business. And, and uh, uh, on the auto trade, it all depends on the market movement. This is where your PNL lands, and your risk is is more f important factor in your trade and how much you are risking on that trade. And what is your reward? Let me simplify that for you. I want to show you the smaller time frame when you have a smart auto trade. When you are flipping the coin ten times, and every time you lose. You are losing five takes or eight takes for 10 trades. And when you make a winning trade, you are getting 50 takes to 100 take. And we're going to roll the dice 10 times. So it takes only two winning trades to cover all the losses of eight trades. But when you are using this kind of auto trade, We have this kind of auto trade, but on a smart auto trade, not as a moving average. It is based on the price line. This uh, uh, bars are not just based on ATR or a moving average. Those red bars, they are based on the price lines and FIBs. Is a total different approach to the market, and this kind of auto trade does not require trailing stop or stop loss. Our auto trade, why? Because this auto trade, it happened to be the market is not just red and and and, and blue. The market goes in neutral. When you don't have the advantage to go on neutral, you are in trouble because you are looking at the market as just black and white, and there is something in between called neutral. On this type of an auto trade, what it does is chasing the trade. And when the trend is over with the yellow, that's where immediately the auto trade lock the trend and lock your profit. If this market decide to go further down, the auto trade will go ahead and re-enter the market. If you take in a trade, you can also break even. I don't have the break even on it, but you can have the break even and the trailing stop, and you can exit with a profit. If you don't want to use <clears throat> trailing is stop. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is it <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been on a long flight uh, yesterday, so uh, it's changing in the weather. So the way we are using those higher time frame, the 23 takes or the 30 range or whatever, we are taking the trade short, and if the market change in direction, then automatically the auto trade will lock.
and change the trend. This is uh, this is base the 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 lines the 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 price line levels. And the red bars they're not an ATR. They are based on a price line and a price level in conjunction with four different type of an indicators to determine where is your trend and how far the market is going. When someone is trading smart with smart auto trades, another guy is trading a just a moving average ATR, which you can download it free. You don't need to purchase an ATR. They are all over the places you can download it for free, the ATR. And it will be disaster because the moving average ATR is nothing, it's just a moving average. And when the market goes up, it goes up. When the market goes down, it goes down. The problem is when the market is flat and start the market going above and below the moving average constantly, you start getting whacked. Five hundred, one thousand dollar on a losing trade, and that it is what really clean up your account. So when you are wanted to auto trade, and higher time frame, whether it's twenty range or thirty range, you have to have the proper instruments and the proper auto trade, understand the trend, so you will not end up in disaster. Something out of a day 20 years ago, you don't think you're going to pull the, the magic in the market because you're not considering that if somebody on the other side is using a better gears than you are, someone on the other side is more educated than you are, somebody on the other side have a better computer than you are, has a better internet than you are, has better education than you are. You cannot come and kick him out and sit on his chair. For every dollar you make in the market, somebody lose money. For every hundred dollar you make, somebody else lost hundred dollar. We cannot be all of us making money and there is no amateur trading in this industry which we feed a lot from those people because they don't know what they're doing and their mistakes is our winning. Their problem, it is heaven for us. Their lack of experience, lack of gear, lack of tools, it is heaven for us. We feed on those amateur traders. They don't know what's going on in the market. They want to treat the auto trade as a wash machine and that's what the driving us happy because we are able to overwrite their trades and they are losing trades and we can win the trades. In this industry, the more experience, the more tools you have, the more chances you have will be on the winning side. The less experience you have, less equipped gear, smart gears in this industry, your possibility to be alive after two months, it is very rare. Another experience with the auto trading, when people don't know how is the market is moving, they are scared to use live account on their auto trade. They turn on, this is a very familiar habit we have seen in the last 15 years training people. You have a big class, you have 50 people in this class, the same teacher, the same room, the same class, 50 students. You will see students get A plus and some people get B, some people get C, some people get F, some people get banana. And it is the same class, the same teacher, the same tools. The reason is 
what we have found out in the last 15 years. People auto trade from the market open till evening, just looking at PNL, occupied with optimization. Optimization is not magic tools. Optimization does not recognize your Christmas. Optimization does not recognize it's going to be low volume when the kids are out of school in the summer. Optimization cannot predict if the CL on Monday morning is going to be the spike at 9 o'clock or the spike is going to be at 2.30 in the afternoon. Optimization has been misled a lot of amateur trading. An optimization, it is like today, I optimized this NASDAQ to just show you in this video here. I put it between 20 and 30, and I just tangled a little bit with the uh, the bar trend. Just one. There is three, but I just did one. And uh, this one here, I have optimized it to between 20 and 30 to tell me what is the best time frame, and it give me the 23 range. And I made this template just to show in this recorded video that if you want to play that game, we have much better tools to play that game with a much less risk and much more amateur trading and uh, a much more professional trading than this amateur uh, uh, nonsense risking 5000 to get $300 uh, uh, on a daily. So, so uh, when... You, what we have found out in the last 15 years that uh, most of them they are occupied by PNL optimization to avoid looking at the technical chart and what happened they are scared to go live because they are uncertain they are uncertain when they're gonna turn on that auto trade on let's say Monday morning they don't know if their auto trade is going to make money or not our job to teach you, like what you have seen on the other channel, to teach you to read how to read the market. Sadly, most of those people, they sell auto trades, they cannot trade paperback, or they have to hire someone to talk about trading because they don't even know how to trade. At the same time, they cannot support their members with the technical charts because they're not the traders, they are marketers with their auto trades and they cannot even trade a paperback, how are you expecting those people to support you? What they want to do, they want to teach you how to optimize and get rid of you as soon as possible. They're going to deny that it is required for you to understand the technical chart before you start turning on your auto trade because they don't even know how to read it. When your master don't know how to read it, he cannot support you with a technical trading or he has to hire someone to come in online because he cannot even know how to trade. That it is a disaster. You started with a disaster and you end up with a disaster. So uh, for that condition here, we can uh, we can sit down and uh, on a normal day because this one I just started uh, in the afternoon. I was uh, making the template which I will show a lot of that. In my other office, uh, uh, I did test it, and uh, I w it was the average between four and 5,000 uh, on the trades on this one here. But also, you have to understand that. So let's go and uh, show you how the smaller time frame start kicking in from now till Christmas. And this is where you start appreciating uh, the, the smaller time frame. And I'm going to be showing, normally we don't use weird chart like a line break. If you look at the line break, can you trade it manually? No, you cannot trade it. A Ranko bar, we can trade man a Ranko bar, but uh, I prefer to stay between one and five minutes. And if you want a little bit more, like on this NASDAQ, I've been showing the same chart for the last three, four months. It's been consistent on the NASDAQ for 590 ticks. 
no problem and I have not modified it in four or five months and I've been highlighting this chart every video we make. The same thing I've been highlighting is the 10 seconds which is going to be very, very, uh, uh, it's very important this 10 second chart. Uh, the closer we are to the Christmas the more you're going to be using this. Sadly, if you are using just a dummy auto trade, you cannot survive 10 seconds and 20 seconds. Uh, it will be disaster for you. But when you are using a smart auto trade with a high efficiency algorithm, then uh, you can survive the 10 second and the 20 and the 30 second because there is not much movement in the market from now till Christmas. And this is, has been the same story for the last 27 years. Nothing has changed. Around the Christmas, around the summer, the market gets flat and there is no performance. It is the best time for training and get ready, get your gears ready till after New Year Eve. And if we look at the 10 second here, you can see it started a little bit before 9 o'clock. We were done by 9.35. I start the first trade at 9.30, we were done in five minutes and called it off. That's how fast it is on the 10 second. And if you want to go for one more round, we could have made much more. No, I'm sorry, I apologize, there is one more. Look at this. This auto trade has no filter. Avoided this area, avoided this area, took that trade, and it's done because it's not a dummy auto trade. The position auto trade, you can trade it with the trend and you can activate reversal with it. On the precision auto trade, you don't need a filter and all those precision auto trade does not have any filter on it. It takes you a couple days to learn how to optimize it. If you know how to use Ninja Trader, it takes you two days to learn how to optimize it. That's it and you're ready to go. And it is a very friendly use. You can reverse the market and you can trade it with the trend or you can trade it with the trend plus reverse the market. Here is the ES 30 second and as we see here, one trade, two trade and uh, we were done by 930 and this is superb. 46 second, 1100, 1400, on 30 second and if you notice they're all with the same almost the same time frame and with the same money es 25 second 1125 daily target 1000 uh, cl 22nd 1060 es if you want the, the, the minutes a little bit more than the seconds because it's a different chart 1850 Nasdaq 275 takes 1000 2 minutes YM 1900 done by 1030 Nasdaq 3 minutes 3320 the DAX we've been showing the same and I've been highlighting the DAX. We only have one chart on the DAX. We don't have one day rank bar, another day range bar, one day one minute, one day is line break. I don't know what, what is that. And then it is only one chart we have for the DAX on the precision auto trade, which is four minutes done and over. It is consistent. You have some bad days, you have some good days. But it is very consistent that good days are much more th better than the bad days. Another thing, if you want to use a little higher time frame, which the CL is a very unique instrument to auto trade. For people who don't understand CL, the CL is a very unique and usually the CL fell on most of the auto trades. Yeah, they might get lucky once, twice, but the or they probably want to put you on a 30 range CL, 
because they cannot find the performance on the CL. So the higher the time frame is, the quicker, the, the higher risk you are in. And uh, if let's say if you are on 30 range with the CL, if you want to use a stop loss, probably you need to go around a couple of 300 takes. <laughs> Who can afford a couple of 300 takes to gain $300? Anyway, but uh, that's what I have seen. They've been trying to sell uh, uh, the amateur trading, you know, occupy them by the PNL, and uh, forgot to mention the stop loss and how fast it is to lose your money on a 500 ticks of stop loss. And uh, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, five step, five trades, accuracy, 10 range, with 10, 15 ticks of stop loss. Risk is very much acceptable in case if we have a bad day, and there we go, you are sitting, relaxing, you're not putting all your money on one trade, and you most likely, it's not pleasant to ruin your Christmas over a bad trade. Yes, this is also very serious, a high time frame, nine range, we don't need the uh, the 30 range or the 29, which we, I will show you. I will show you uh, on the the, the the performance on the 30 range. We have much more advanced auto trading for 30 range if you wanted to do that. I will show that, I promise, next video. On the ES9 range, you took a two trade with the 10, 15 ticks stop loss. It's much acceptable. You're ironing all the noises in the market and you're getting what you want to get without too much trade. Smaller acceptable risk with the stop loss and it can filter a lot of bad trade. And that is, if you can see, this auto trade is not based on a dummy ATR moving average plus or minus. When on, on an ATR, on this area here, the market is not moving, it's plus above or below the moving average. So when you have a dummy auto trading in this area here, it's going to take a trade, it's not going to do it. It's going to go back. You're going to lose money. It's going to take another trade. The market take it down. You're going to lose another trade. No matter how much you optimize, you're not going to get away with it. When the market is in this condition here, you will have a three bad trades. If you're every trade on $200, you are $600 in the hole on a normal time frame. If you are using 30 range, and your $5,000 account, most likely they are smoked away within a day or two in the trading. In our auto trade, you can see this has dismissed this whole area. It's not the PNL matter. It is how to bail out of turbulence in the market. And that turbulence, I don't want to be in it. And there we go. The market keep going, took a perfect trade when the market is trending, taking it, and we are done with 2300. This is the smart way to do it. If we take the 28 second, it is 1000. So as you see, everyone, most of the ninja trader, they've been around for, look at this beauty. I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about how this market is taking those trades and keep nailing it on the reversal side. And and, uh, and it is only 28 seconds until he get it. So as we look at this whole picture here, you can see what we have said on the other channel. The closer we are to the Christmas, the more the smaller time frame they're gonna kick in and uh, 
the the bigger time uh, bigger time frame they might make it in a day or two does not mean they're not gonna make it they're gonna have a couple days good but when we are using accuracy on the entry and we are using a smaller time frame we are into the market movement everyone has auto trade in order for you to test how good your auto trade why don't you optimize on 20 second or 30 second and see how your auto trade function you will find out your auto trade will keep losing money constantly the reason is because the entry is a dummy entry has no meaning and has no work has no development behind it it's just a dummy moving average in 2022 you're not gonna survive on a dummy moving average called ATR or any other dummy moving average and a dummy trailer and stuff that is not gonna do it let's jump to another uh, auto trade and uh, the other auto trade called the TI7 the TI7 is a total uh, different auto trade and uh, for the tech lovers uh, I have I, I don't need to show everyone but I have the uh, for the ones because we have some people that like ticks and here is your ES today and look how many I don't care about the 1450 when I'm looking at the auto trade they occupy those naive traders with the PNL like what they did they pull up this stunt with 30 range they tell they tell the trader to jeopardize five thousand dollars to get three hundred. I couldn't believe that with the stop loss, few hundred takes. This is a wild ride. If you look on the one hundred seventy takes, where is the stop loss on one hundred seventy takes? It's ten takes. When I want to look at the auto trade, I don't want to look at the P and L itself. When I want to look at the auto trade is how many win in trade and how many lose in trade today you might get 1450 maybe another day you're gonna lose money another day you might get 3000 what i want to see is the winning trade against the losing trade if the, the the amount of the money is irrelevant so if we look at the 170 take and we can see how those trades has been taken and how many losing trade we have on that and how many winning trade we have on this that indicate is a very good strategy immediately for a trained eye person he don't look at the number he look at the winning trade and the losing trade let's jump on a different type of an auto trade called the ti7 uh, the ti7 has a big variety of uh, entry and a big variety of filters you will find out on the ti7 what goes on the es does not mean it works on the nasdaq what works on the nasdaq does not mean uh, works on the YM and the same thing with the filters that's why a person has to have the proper gear before he get in into the rain I guess someone he don't know jeopardizing his account this is a very serious business and if the other person on the other side have an advanced tools and you are trading with 20 years old tools and for every chart in here has a different entry different time frame different filter a filter works on the ES does not mean it's gonna work on the Russell a filter on the Russell does not mean it's gonna work on the Nasdaq so it's not just a wash machine you turn it on 
and you just bang on the market on every instrument and think you're going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with anything. In this trading industry, the ones are done their job. They get rewarded. The naive people, they will get punished. The ones are more equipped, they have more advantage than the ones are not equipped and experienced. And the disaster results is there. For every $100 you make, somebody lost 100. It cannot be 100 traders, 100 traders making money and there is no one losing money. Who lose money in this industry? The ones are as simple as that for the last 15 years. The ones they don't look at the technical chart. We don't need to manual trade. The ones they don't look at the technical chart. The ones they don't have the proper training. They're never able to auto trade blindly. The ones they auto trade blindly, most likely they're gonna end up in disaster. The ones they auto trade uh, blindly, they spend their weekend optimizing because they don't wanna look at the technical chart to see what's going on in the market. The ones they fail in this industry, the ones they are using less equipment, less experience, less technical, less education. Those are their chances of surviving in this industry is very rare or none. That's why what I said, when you see a guy has 20 auto trade and he's scared to turn on any of the auto trades on Monday or Tuesday and Wednesday. Why? Because he don't know what's going on in the market and he don't know this optimization he has done is going to work or not. He can put it on a test and when he's putting it on the test, he's putting it on eight hours. He's not playing a smart game. What we are training people is you come in in the morning, you should be done by 12 o'clock. You should not be sitting behind the screen all day long. If you have nothing to do, you need to turn off your life trading by 12 o'clock and you can do training if you have nothing to do in your life you're bored with your life you can do that I recommend to close your computer after four or five hours so you will not get burned out like what we have done our brain was fried chasing the European market the Asian market the US market and then after 10 years our brain fried out you know, don't exhaust it yourself. I strongly recommend to the new, younger traders, do not sit behind the screen a lot and fry your brain after 10 years. And um, if you notice my voice in the evening is different because we put many hours every day and at the end of the day, we all tired. And that's why sometimes I sound horrible in the evening and anyway, the smarter trader does not mean he has to sit on a gambling table all day long. When you go to Las Vegas, if you make money and you stay on that table, you're going to give it all back. The smart ones, they make money and leave the table. And the same thing here. And only ignorance in the trading, they think they can auto trade day and night, only ignorant traders, only amateur trading. Of course, on the TI-7, we have different entry for different purpose. On the TI-7, there is a three different type of a scalper and one is uh, two uh, different type of reversals. And there is a special one called B scalper is for overnight. For guys that want to trade globax, there is an entry for globax. 
you don't day trade or you don't use the same entry in Germany on every instrument and then you use the same auto trade in the US on all the instruments you don't use the same auto trade at 930 you don't use the same auto trade on Monday where you should be scalping on Monday you should be swing trading on Thursday people don't say that they, they don't and you have to have the tools when you want to take an engine out in your car you don't go just with a wire plier and a screwdriver and you think you're gonna take the whole engine off you have a proper toolbox to take the engine off and here you have the proper tools in your toolbox in order for you to pull the trades on what kind of instruments what days what you are doing swing trading or scalping what is your risk what is your reward nobody is talking about that anymore what I have seen someone pull up a, a stand on on 30 range and telling you uh, uh, invest five thousand dollars to get 300 this is this is a suicide to get rid of the the trader immediately I mean even on the 12 range even on the 12 range I'm scared to let amateur trader use 12 range but I'm gonna be covering the tricks how to trade uh, the 30 range and the 20 range I will do it I promise you on the next video <laughs> there is a way to do it <coughs> anyway so uh, the 595 ticks on the YM we've been highlighting this one here for uh, many videos Russell is on the three minutes one trade and then when I hit the target we did go one more round on the Russell today in the afternoon around two o'clock and this is the second round on the Russell because it was biting it was doing very well he has two minutes because if you notice here 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 what it is you can see there is a previous trade here and we skipped that flat trade here and then when the market start going to certain level we we took the two winning trade in here and that would help making the three thousand dollar because there is a proper filter for the ES not the Nasdaq for the ES the YM five minutes has a different filter different entry 1200 this is an ES 30 range I made those templates today this afternoon we had a lousy trade and it took look at this took a trade and, but that auto trade is not on an ATR that auto trade is based on a price line that auto trade has a black has a blue red and yellow because sometimes the market go in neutral the market cannot be up or down there is sometimes can be sideways when you are auto trade you are missing one factor is when the market is in neutral this auto trade type it's not based on an ATR or a trailing stop or a stop loss. It's a total different, which I will be covering how those auto trades work. And it's very clever when it goes on a certain price line, it's going to take the trade. As an example, this one here, uh, the range, let me show you the range, uh, took that trade today. What it does, this is based on the price line with the four different indicators inside that bar to measure the trend it's not a dummy ATR and then when I took it took that chunk here and if you notice let me show you that's the difference between a dummy auto trade and a clever auto trade and here it is uh, to some amateur trading 
he cannot tell the difference between a Pinto car or a Ferrari. To him, they're all cars. But he want to race. Here is the problem. And he cannot tell between a high performance auto trade, high frequent auto trade, and he cannot tell from a donkey to an airplane. He cannot. He just look at PNL, and the question is how much I can make next week. We don't know how much. He, no one know how to make. All those guys they made the bet on Bitcoin. All those guys, and I made a remark on it. Uh, we are ready to go back life after New Year Eve. Now we are not because of the holidays. And I criticized everyone on Bitcoin when the Bitcoin was going up and everyone making a bet that Bitcoin is going to 100,000 by the end of the New Year Eve. And everybody start positioning themselves because everybody talking and I said nobody, the market do what no one is expecting the market will do. In the last 27 years experience in the trading, always the market do what we are not expecting. If I'm expecting this ES to go next month to certain level, it goes to the opposite. Always the market do what we are not expecting. So everybody was counting on that and everyone went heavy on that and everyone went 100x on that base on a guy you don't know he just tweeting you don't know if he takes pills for his nerve system you don't know if he drinks vodka in the morning his wife give him a stress you don't know if this guy he was in a nut house before he come out on a Twitter, you don't know if the guy mentally okay to trade. You don't know anything about this guy. He just have followers. Everybody went 100x. On the other office, we have a lot of British people, heavy traders, you know, uh, and um, they were constantly nagging me giving him uh, the report every day and um, and I say I, I I don't do that and and uh, and uh, I go follow levels I don't go on the Twitters I don't go on uh, if one guy don't want to take long on an ES or Bitcoin he's gonna start putting rumors about or if about stock and if a guy want to short out the stock or a company want to short out, they send their internet army because we have internet army that can go attack any company under bananagmail.com, uh, uh, mikegmail.com, whatever it is, dot com, dot, dot whatever. And uh, they can start spraying the rumors about this stock and then they can drive it down because they are on a short position. The only time I made money in the stocks is when I turn off the television and I kept looking at the technical chart. The same th as time right now, we are managing a large amount of money and for people on uh, the cryptocurrency and we are not uh, uh, I don't I don't even log in on Twitter to see what uh, every guy has to say on on a Bitcoin what we do we look at the technical chart which I will show you right now the technical chart the one we give consultation to some people have millions of dollars uh, accounts so as you see here uh, the Nasdaq uh, which I will be covering a lot because we I did those templates in the afternoon but if I start in the morning it will be in thousands but there is a trick how to use it and manage it and risk it and you cannot do this kind of high time frame on the just a dummy indicator you have to be much more advanced trader to do that anyway I don't know where we are CL uh, 1500 YM 8 range is acceptable eight range 1700 
115 ticks, 10 ticks a stop loss is acceptable. 15 ticks a stop loss is acceptable on those time frame. 2000, finish at 1030. Why you need to sit all day long behind a computer miserably? Go buy flowers to your wife, boyfriend, whatever, girlfriend, mistress. Anyway, uh, 1400, uh, one minute. 11 range, one trade, because it's a higher time frame. One trade, 2000. Done by 940. You're done. Why you need to be miserably sitting behind a computer? If I don't have responsibility, I will trade for a couple of three hours and close my computer and uh, and uh, I will uh, I will do something with my life, pick up a hobby, go for a walk, run in, to keep my mind clear for the second day. You don't sit on the weekend behind computers trying to optimize. You don't sit 12 hours behind computers. You There is a fatigue in your brain. Trading is more personality, clean head. Kick out those negative people you're surrounding, negative. One guy says the Bitcoin going to the moon and one guy is saying the Bitcoin is going to zero. Which one are we going to believe? Look at your technical chart. If you don't see anything, say, I'm out of here. There's nothing to, to chew on today. Trading is not a buffet table, all the ticks you can eat for 9.95, auto trade. Three minutes, Hakenachi, scalping, 1500. Tax, 13 range, 7600. And I will put the range on 30. Uh, I'll put the tax on 30 range and I can show you can get double that. But this is base. On 13 range and it is much more reasonable 7698 and ES one minute the one minute is a statement that's why most of those guys they cannot use one minute they use a line break Renko a God knows banana charts because they cannot perform on one minute if you have an auto try try to optimize on one minute see how well your auto trade can perform I want to show one more. I mean, you have what, 15 uh, auto trades in your package. The price of somebody else selling one lousy entry and uh, the same price you are getting with training and update with the same price you're getting 15 auto trades. On this one here, I only have six charts and all the six charts uh, made it today. And this is the scalper. Uh, the scalper is a very friendly use. You can use it just out of the box. And it is a very smart. If you don't want to deal with the trading stop, stop lost, you can put them on zero and the scalper can predict the trend automatically. So you can use trailing stop, stop loss target, or you can put them all on zero. And the auto trade takes over. That's what. What I'm saying is, when we have 15 auto trades, does not mean we are just bragging about 15 auto trades for the price of somebody else selling one lousy auto trade called ATR. We have invested tons of money, development, the latest technology, on 15 auto trades. We're not using 20 years old algorithm for the same price. So this is a big difference. It's not just for the fun of it, putting 15 auto trades in your package. This is a hard work, development, money, updating. You're trying to update 15 auto trades, nonstop we are updating. You have an update almost every week almost on the scalper since when we got that scalper a couple of three years ago we have had over 100 updates on the scalper the ti7 150 updates and all this cost money because if you don't keep in touch with the market 
you are a disaster. It's not that just the trader has to do his part. Also, the developer or the funder, he has to do his part and bring to his customer the latest technology. Now, what they want to do with it, that's up to them. You provide a guy a car, and if he want to rack it, he can rack it, or if he want, if he want to use it, he can use it. We are a tool provider. As a tool provider, our job not to make miracle, not to have a donkey playing piano, and not to have an elephant flying. Our job is to provide tools, training, and what the trader can do with it is up to him. You know, but we cannot make miracle to everyone. You know, some w will will have a problem. Some people don't want to work. You don't work, you don't earn. As simple as that in the trading. Let me, because I've had a lot of requests today about some people are nervous with the Bitcoin, which we also manage a large accounts, a huge accounts. Uh, before I get uh, to the Bitcoin part, uh, I want to talk about uh, this uh, signal automated trade. The signal automated trade has five different automated trade. And as an example, uh, this is the chart for the 15 second on the market analyzer. This is based on one contract, the last entry, not the whole day. On the last entry, there is 83 ticks into the profit. On the last entry, there is 428 ticks based on one contract. You don't have to trade them all. You only can trade ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. And when you, um, right now, as you see, we got a new signal on the NASDAQ. And there is uh, five auto trades in that uh, package. And uh, it's based on fibs, pullback, re-entry, and it is uh, very pleasant. So the signal on the NASDAQ, and now we got a new signal on the EAS. And it is a very useful when you are auto trading to see the EAS, NASDAQ, down zones, they are synchronized. That indicate this market is gonna, uh, is in sequence. Then you can use a normal auto trade to your advantage that indicate for you when you see the nasdaq down zones are on a different direction uh, that's mean uh, they're not synchronized that's mean the market is doing some follow play and you're gonna fall into a trap and uh, whether you are auto trading or manual trading you're gonna fall into this trap so uh, let me which we have predicted uh, if you let me uh, let me show you where we we predicted uh, the short on the Bitcoin, and I'm going to be using the daily chart. On the daily chart, uh, we have when the market has broke the 60,000, you cannot see it on this one here. We have predicted the, the uh, I mean, the wick, you cannot help with the wick, uh, but uh, we have predicted from the 60,000, it's gonna come down here. And actually we have just loaded uh, 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 a lot of Bitcoin purchasing on, on the Bitcoin. And, uh, and, uh, and we use the symmetry when we see the top up, if you see the symmetry, when it says to buy at 57, close at 69, stay on idle, we came into the Fib line, and we knew exactly days ago, where is the target, which today we hit the target, that's why I'm explaining this one here. We hit the target, and uh, this is what we were expecting. Now, if we wanna magnify for a manual trader, you cannot just look at the daily chart. When we want to magnify the details to find an entry, as you see here, look at this, which we, if you go on the other channel, 
we have some kind of institutional numbers which nobody knows about it not that many people knows about it only big firm and we used to use this one in Luxembourg and uh, I didn't get it because of my beautiful eyes because back then we were trading anyway if you notice uh, when we magnify the charts on the Bitcoin for manual trading we have the Florin Fibs, we have the, the M1, M2, M3 we are measuring uh, the downtrend and we are got the short trade signal long time ago before those young people on the YouTube trying to misguide I feel sorry for those guys are following we had the short signal from the 50 level as you see here short short long time ago and if we look this is our major support to purchase more bitcoins and the target three it was a closing position for the institutional a lot of people talking about institutionals and big wells but they don't know what they're doing they have no clue when they are buying they have no clue when they are selling the advantage on that because of the low volume they can control it the market much better and that applies also for the future ES when there is a low volume they can control the ES and if you are not up to date or you're not looking at your technical chart you're screwed and if we notice which we have covered that on the other channel for many years the target one hit target two hit target three institutional final target profit taking on the Bitcoin when it hit the target three profit taking does mean when you go short to close your position you go on a buy and it was a buy-in what happening right now before the Asian market open this is gonna go sideways but the institutional target is finished it hit and the bottom on the Bitcoin is done if we look what the institutional the institutionals are not using like this uh, guy called line break they're not using his ranker bar they're not using ninja trader they are using minute chart daily charts and if we look at the daily chart this is the major support area this is where you pull up your truck and you start loading Bitcoin if this market going to drop farther it's gonna go from 46 to 44 but we are happy with 46 and we left 25 percent for 44 level which I doubt it we're gonna get filled on the on the 44 however if you want to look at the ethereum and then what happened we can see measure it from all those instruments on the top that this market is going up before it happened now we start turning green green and start getting green, uh, green and then you see when you are then we are measuring not the ones they put order we are measuring the buying and the selling the buyers are over the sellers with a six different time frame involved to pinpoint the direction of the market and then you have a guy pop out somewhere on Monday can I trade 24 7 you know and then we have the Florin Fibs the, 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 the devil is in the details right there and there is much more I'm not gonna share to the public but this is partial of it then 
we have at the bottom here, we can indicate the first movement to the up down to pinpoint when the market is turning around. So this is this is how much work. We don't listen to Twitters. We don't listen uh, to a guy. I don't know if he he can trade a paper bag telling me uh, the Bitcoin is going to one hundred thousand or one million and is going to the moon. Well, I don't know if it's going to the moon, but uh, I hope he have diapers because they keep saying this is the last time. This is the last time. Now it's going to 100, and it didn't. The second day, he said, and, and, and when I want to enjoy or have fun, I listen to him, uh, one guy, and he's very popular. Uh, today, we're going to go up, and it didn't. The second day, today, and it didn't go up, and I'm laughing because the guy cannot trade paperback, but he have followers. But those followers, how many people they are following that guy and uh, went and uh, mortgaged their home to buy Bitcoin and they didn't do the trick. Anyway, or they went 100X. Uh, on the other office, we had a lot of uh, British people. They've been around for a very long time and uh, when they are trading the uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, uh, Cardano, they are they are going 1,000 X. They are going 100 X. I mean, it's a suicide. And uh, I said, man, how can you sleep at night? I cannot do it. And uh, they rely on our system uh, to find their levels. And uh, when I uh, when we open this a new office. <clears throat> um, four months ago, everybody glued onto our platform to read the levels. And uh, when they start trusting those levels, and uh, every day we give our analysis on it, uh, they'll start going from 10x to 20 and 30x. But then uh, when they start getting on my nerve, because uh, you have some people pay and some people that just want to go get a freebie. Uh, then uh, some of them, I when they call, I just didn't bother to pick up the telephone. Anyway, if we want to look at Cardano, uh, this is a Cardano. Let me show you something about Cardano. We start having a sell signal, and this is on the 15th for day trading where we to go low, long, and we kept getting those signals short, 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 short. If we look in at the, uh, the day trading uh, Cardano right now, it's facing major problem, and there is a potential. This all depends on the Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin is an oxygen for the Cardano and the rest of the market. And in the future is the ES, is the oxygen for NASDAQ and all the other, even for the DAX. If you want to trade the DAX, you gain milliseconds. If you keep looking at the ES, you can predict the market on the DAX. The DAX, the DAX is in Tuscland, Frankfurt. The ES is in USA and it's still the ES can give you prediction on the DAX. And there is so many tricks to predict the market in millisecond. And that did not come in on a silver platter. That cost us a lot of agony before we learned all those small tricks. When you are trading, you start learning. You start discovering. And then when you are auto trading, it will be piece of cake because you know what the auto trade is going to do. And if the auto trade take in a trade, you know exactly if this auto trade gonna make that trade or not. Not to just looking from the kitchen window, waiting on the dollar to fall, not knowing where is the ES going today. So if we want to measure the Cardano on a, on a daily basis, uh, then we have the trend exhaustion. The trend exhaustion can give you, uh, okay, and now I got I got it messed up. I need to 
use a different system on the Cardano to get it um, a different chart uh, because the Cardano have a, um, a different setting you can see it did not work what is work on the Bitcoin anyway guys uh, I hope uh, this is uh, was uh, good uh, it was sorry it took whew, took over an hour that for that uh, video I want to say thank you very much and uh, we will see you on another day god bless you all and uh, we'll see you another day bye for now